you may be eligible for lung cancer screening if you are between ages 50 and 80, you have smoked for one pack per day for at least 20 years, and you've quit within 15 years. You shouldn't have symptoms at the time of lung cancer screening, which may be a cough that doesn't go away, chest pain, shortness of breath, coughing up blood, or feeling tired. However, if you have any of the above mentioned symptoms or other respiratory concerns, you may benefit from consultation with a lung doctor or a pulmonologist to have a further discussion about your lung health. People who are eligible should be screened once a year. Some people who have worked in high risk occupations, such as mining in a shipyard, in manufacturing, or with types of work resulting in exposure to other types of dusts and particulates, may benefit from consultation with a lung doctor to find out how you can improve your lung health. After a discussion with your doctor, even if you are not eligible for lung cancer screening, it is important to discuss any other lung health issues you may be having, including shortness of breath, coughing, wheezing, chest pain, or coughing up large amounts of sputum or blood. These symptoms may be due to lung health issues that may be evaluated by a lung doctor or your primary care doctor to see if there's anything else to improve your lung health. An important part of lung cancer screening is repeating the test every year. Your lung cancer risk decreases every year after you quit smoking. However, it is important to continue screening until directed otherwise by your lung cancer screening team. I understand there may be barriers to having your evaluation done at a low dose CT scan certified center, which may be also called a lung cancer screening center. In this case, I recommend talking to your local primary care doctor about completing a low dose CT scan with findings that may be reported to a larger center if they find something concerning on the CT scan.